What's up guys, myself back with another video and today I'm gonna be doing a what's my baseball bag video and I'm gonna my desk up. And um so my team is going I'm leaving for Columbus and a few because my team my team is just going to be doing it. So my team is going there for a tournament this weekend. Um, our first game is tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, I do not know where the fields are at, I don't know called or anything. So yeah, and then oh, so tomorrow's for pool play, and then Saturday and Monday are gonna be elimination day. So. Yeah, without further ado, I think I'm just gonna get too right into it. First of all, I'm gonna start my glove. Um, I've had this glove for four years now. Um, and um, yeah, it's a Rawlings Pro Preferred. It um, closes all the way. It closes, it just hawks the wall. Like, I hardly even, it's all the glove. I love it, absolutely. Love I play like I was third and short and pitch with this glove. Um, so yeah, it's very broken in, fully broken in, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so Rolling Pro preferred or the hide. Um, I think it's right hide. I don't know. And um, yeah, I can ball it so the pocket will stay big. It won't close up. It won't just be flattened. Like this, because how broken in it is. So I like to keep on it. And then this is my underglove I use. It is a Franklin. This is my first year actually using this underglove. I had another one, but I lost that one in Muncie, Indiana, for a tournament last year. So I've just been using this one. Uh, yeah, it's a good feeling glove. I don't really recommend it for batting, because the grips on it are not too good. Uh, like very weak. If you're gonna use it, I use it for a practice glove definitely, but I don't use practice gloves or practice cleats. Cause when I do get new gloves or cleats, I like to break them in and practice and then use them in a the game. Yeah, so there's that. It's dirty cause I slide a lot during the field. And um, that's black and white camera right there. And um, yeah. And then also the other thing they said I wear. Um, so this, so my team is like white and oil blue, and baby blue, so, uh, Columbia blue, so baby blue, Columbia blue, same thing, like that color blue, and um, so and then I wear this wrist thing, so when I, when I put my glove on, I'll put it right here on my arm, and um, yeah, and then on my throwing arm, I wear this is all my third year using this. This is my first year to using this. I had a. Oh, I used this. I used this for three years. Um, I got like in some sort of poison from sweat or something on my wrist, so I stopped using this. And um, yeah, this is actually very. I do recommend this because it's very durable. And um, the reason why I got poison from it, I think it was because I won the woods before I went to that game. And because um, I never washed it, it was just filled with sweat and dirt. And, yeah, it's got me really itchy on that one. But, so, this is my game. I sometimes use this in practice. Because I'm probably going to use this tomorrow because we're wearing our camo jerseys for... Wait, actually, I don't think we're going to be wearing our camera jerseys. Actually, I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow. Um, it's going to also be Sunday, because Sunday we'll wear all white, so I'll be wearing this color. And tomorrow I'm actually going to be wearing this color for our world, our dark blue jerseys. We're wearing that color. And, um, yeah, and then Monday, which we'll probably make it to Monday, um, I'll use this because we're wearing our camera jerseys. And then my evil shield. And then this is an evil shield arm sleeve. Um, I wore it for throwing. I don't know why. And then I wear it on my back arm when I'm batting. Um, yeah, it's pretty dark. 
because I've slid a lot with it as you can tell. You can hardly even see the Evo Shield. And um, yeah. And I will be getting an Evo Shield Double Guard probably. And, uh, yeah. Now on to my bag gloves. Um so these I've been using these for three or four years now, I can't really remember. But they are Under Armour. I don't know what they, which ones they are, but they used to be really shiny and white, but now as you can tell, they're gray. And so the grips are here. The grips, they still are pretty good grip. I never swing my bat. Their grips are still very good. Like these could be football gloves because their grips are so good. And, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend these gloves just because they're super durable. The grips are so really very good. And, um, yeah. So that's it for all my stuff. And I guess I'll move on to my helmet. It is a Eason. And as you can tell, I am... Number two. Number two. Looks like five, but it is two. I can assure you that. And um, it's a very good helmet. Um, it's, the padding is very good. It's very squishy. Um, just the only thing I don't really like about it is it's super tight on me, and I think the ear things could be a little bit more squishy. They like the barely even squish. It. Super hard. Not super hard, but they're somewhat hard. It's a good helmet. Got him a couple times. Yeah. It's very durable. And, uh, yeah. That's it. I'll move on to my bat now. This is a combat drop tin. U S S S A. Um, 28 inch, 18 ounces, drop 10. Very good bat. I do recommend it. It's my fourth year using it. Used it in a full ball one year, and I got some. I got a hand run with. I got. I think I mm, a lot of triples, and in the regular season I got. I had two grand slams and one. I had two grand slams, and uh, I think. A, Two run home run and a solo home run. Third is rockets in the gaps. So um yes, yeah, this is a very good bat. It's got a lot of pop. Everybody on my team pretty much uses it. It's a big barrel, as you can tell. Yeah. It's a Vigor. So it's like this this can be the little bat type or something. So it's a combat. U-S-S-S-A, 20 inches, 18 ounces, drop 10, Vigor. It's the name for the bat, as you can see it three times here, because I hit a lot of balls. And then, yeah, the bat does have a lot of dents in it, from all the rock, rockets I hit. It was it, and, um, yeah, it's a combat right there. You can hardly see it, like, the B and the M. In the oh the A especially because um yeah it's just how many how many times I just hit the ball so hard and I have hit the ball balls right here quite a few times and it hurt like crap um I will be getting new new back grip the grips are so good just they're wearing down. A lot, as you can see right here. I'm probably gonna get like a USA or something because we do have a 14 law tournament, Memorial Day tournament, and because this one is August. So, um, this is my hat. Um, yes, MLB, it's MOB brand, that's MOB users. I think next year you're gonna be wearing Under Armour hat. 
That's good. I think I'm going to make some jerseys, pants, hats, and them. Um, yeah, now I'm going to go to my catcher here because I am a catcher. First, I'll show you my custom made glove. I made it from Gloveworks. Gloveworks is a very good glove brand. You customize your own glove, you can make it a field race glove, outfielder's glove, infield glove, pitching glove, catcher's mitt, first baseman mitt, whatever you want. I made mine a catcher's mitt because I lost mine. Other one was actually stolen by somebody. Oh, I let them use it for practice one time it just because they wanted to use it. So I let them use it. It was actually an all black rolling. I very, very like, I absolutely love the Rollins glove brands. I feel like they're so good, it's so, like, so easy to break in the way you want them. And yeah, I love the Rollins glove brands. Um, so I just got a glove works custom made. You see right there, and then I have my name on the side. You can, you can put like an American flag or something on it. This is actually $110. Um, I think everything you add, like two names, would be five dollars. Five dollars for a name. And you could add a logo of um, a baseball team for ten dollars for five dollars. So each word you put on your glove was five dollars. So it ended up being so the whole glove just for if it was a regular glove, it would have been a cost of one hundred dollars. But then if you add text, logos. I had two words which end up being five plus five because five words, one word equals five, five dollars. So I had two words for myself and um, that's ten dollars. I was gonna put um, American flag on it and um, but I didn't because I didn't really want to waste five dollars and just put a video on it. I mean, I really wanted to, but my parents just didn't let me. And, um, yeah, that's it for my glove. It's very, very broken. It's, oh, this is actually on my second year using it. Get a lot, of, catch a lot of people feeling. And yeah, so this part of the glove is navy blue, and the uh, pocket um is black. I was gonna make it silver, but I didn't really feel like making it silver. Now on to my leg guards. Oh, Alright. So these are my under my leg guards. What they're using these bad boys. They're very dark. They're very, very high quality. I've got hidden in these quite a time. A lot, like when I go to block a ball, I get hit in the knee and it protects me from doing the jelly bean thing. Um, yeah, they're pretty dirty as you can see right there. Um, yeah, I don't have knee savers because they're actually got knee savers for a reason. One year for fall ball, I didn't use them and we had like 20 games in the fall ball and my knees were killing me after the season. I had a bunch of pains. So we ran the dicks. Well, got some knee savers, put them on, and my knees felt so good after the regular season. After like five, after five games, I could definitely tell the difference. And then uh, now on to my helmet, because I guess right here. More Under Armour, it's a Buster Posey's kit. Came with like um, the mask, the shaving guard, and the chest protector for only about $120. which did a great deal. It took a great deal for Buster Posey's kit and for youth because youth that just sometimes really can be actually to one hundred fifty dollars. I only got it's like one hundred ten. I think the the real price was like one hundred twenty dollars, but I actually got it for one hundred ten because I had a coupon for ten dollars off. So um, yeah, it's very durable. You can adjust on um, the size you want it. I have a big head, so I like to put it like that. Um, if you're going to wear a hat under your helmet, I actually do not recommend it if you have a hockey mask type thing. Mostly because it gets in your way and, like, this why I can put it on. This is why I can't put it on the way. So it's like this. And then I have to go. 
and up here, and then the mask. And we're gonna be on like two down plates first or something. Like your shin protector is, and like when you take your mask off, your hat's stuck in there. And so when I'm going to yell like two down plates first or something, but like watch the seal. Um. So it gets it'll get in my way, and my eyes will be actually right in the face mask part so I can hardly see like the like, lines and stuff. So yeah, do not put a hat on your helmet. Unless you can get it very well fitted and you can see just like you would without a hat on. And yeah. And I'll hold my chest protector. Oh my chest and balls protector off because I have a cup and to even do that, it doesn't really do anything anyway. Um, I think I do need a new one of these because I got hit right here a few games ago and it hurt really bad. I just bounced up, nailed me right there. And I've been using it for four years now, the padding is wearing away. Um, it's very flexible, and um. Yeah, I do recommend the, the Under Armour Mr. Pezzi's gear. Um, I would have the one where you just have like a helmet backwards and then you have the face mask. But my league says you have to have the ear protector on and it has to be like the hockey mask thing for like I have this. And um, I do recommend this on under on like connected to this. Because of because I saw videos and this happened to me before I put this on. I went to block it and bounced up and it hit my throat. And um yeah, as you can tell, a bunch of balls the phone really scraped up. A bunch of balls has hit me right here. And my throat would be very, very bad. My voice would be jacked up if I did not put this on. Because, you know, like and um yeah so this did save me a lot of money it come it doesn't cost anything if you get the kit but if you buy it separately i think it's like ten to five dollars at dix so definitely get the under armor one because it comes with this and it doesn't really cost anything if it comes with it and um yeah i'm gonna get my cleats So there are Nike, Marachis, and very durable. They're very light. I'm on the base pass. I'm very fast with these on because like, they're pretty much nothing. I think they're like less than one pound together. I think they're like actually I think they're like half a pound together. There's one pound on my foot, which isn't that much because I have a lot of strength in my feet. And, uh, Alright, so I can pick it up like it's nothing and it's not very much. Um, these are very flexible cleats. Flexible, durable, very protectable. Um, I got hit in the ankle last game and it didn't even hurt because like there's like pad and a stick. Really punch it and um yeah that's pretty much it they're nike hirachi black white tomatic and all very uniform and um so the other picture of louis castro he has the same thing but i think his is red and white and black on mine his is red so we're going to the same clips um i would i was going to get the metal spikes one but i should can't wear this till next year. So next year is when I'll be having the metal spikes. Come down below if you think I should get the metal spikes because my friend says because like 
and you can get it caught in the base. I'm like, I don't care. I can get it undone. And then, so comment down below what you think. And I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Drop a fat like on this video. Comment down below what you think if I should get the mouse right or stick with the plastic. And uh, comment down below also what baseball team you play for. If you play softball or baseball. Comment down below what your team is and your favorite sport. And um, without further ado, see you in the next one.